In the Carolina kitchen today, this may just become a new family favorite. We have a simple risotto recipe. You make it with fresh Parmesan cheese and a, just a little white wine. Welcome into the Carolina kitchen. Bruce Brown, of course, with Bruce's Fabulous Foods and Marion is back with us. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. All right. <laughs> Any of the above? And you're making something that we hear a lot about, but I was examining this. You say this is a different kind. This is actually risotto. It, this is, oh, I'm making a Parmesan risotto for you guys today. Right. And, uh, but risottos, uh, classical risottos, take something that's called arborio rice. They look like little white barrels rather than longer grains of rice. They're shorter okay. and plumper. I started off with uh, a couple tablespoons of butter. Okay. and a couple of tablespoons of minced up shallots. And I put a real light, quick saute on the shallots. And then I put one and a half cups of arboreal rice right in with the butter and the shallots and stirred it around so that the rice absorbed all of the butter. And it was getting to be about dry. Okay. Once that started, I put in half a cup of a dry white wine and stirred it around. And you will notice that it starts to, to boil and simmer and the rice absorbs the water and the liquids that you add to it. So the thing is, is that you don't want to add all of the water and all of the everything at the same time. Arboreal rice, the longer it cooks, the more it absorbs slowly, the more starches and the creamier it becomes. So it gives off the starches and everything to make almost like a little bit of its own sauce. Okay. So we've got, I are, so I went ahead and put in the one uh, or the half cup of white wine and then I just put in really hot water. You don't want to use cold water. Hot water out of your coffee maker. If you have a coffee maker, you can just brew a pot of hot water. That's the best. That's the right temperature right there. I will just go ahead and just put in a half cup at a time of the water and stir it through. And it will slowly absorb until once you have it cooking for about 20 minutes, it'll become al dente. You don't have to constantly stir it. A lot of people think, oh, I have to be there stirring it for 20 minutes. No, just keep an eye on it. Make sure it done, nothing sticks to the bottom. Make sure nothing scorches. To that, then, I'm going to add in just a little bit of salt and pepper, two more tablespoons of butter to help make a little bit more of a sauce, and a quarter cup to a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. This is a Parmesan risotto. Okay. It's, it's a little more labor intensive than what you might be accustomed to for a side dish to go with your meal at night. But trust me. This is really good stuff. Keeping an eye on it is key. Yes, just keep an eye on it so that it doesn't scorch and it doesn't run dry. Always add the next half cup of water before it becomes totally dry. All right, let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. Bruce's Parmesan risotto, a little labor intensive, but totally worth it. You bet. I love risotto. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen.